Okay, so I'm in my office slash mini gym just now. So basically I was at the physio yesterday and I started off with some basic like physio movements and um, <clears throat> basic like instructions that um, Stephen, my physio, gave me. Um, and now around about four weeks after that, I've received new um material and a document that provides four new exercises so i'm going to implement these and um, to strengthen the muscles and also the compressed muscle syndrome the swelling within within my foot and um, the damage in there that should get those muscles moving again um a wee bit more tender a wee bit more supple so that i can kind of put pressure on it so I can put pressure on my whole foot now. I can stand without crutches and they've even taken one away from me. But just to show you is what I've been given, this is what I'm going to go through. So we've got a half depth squat. So just your usual squat, but basically without damaging or injuring yourself, we'll try it halfway. So we'll repeat that 10 times. And then we go down to the bridge. Now, of course, as it says there, the legs bent, and then I just need to basically push my backside up for the floor. Um, same repeat time. You know, I'll do three times of that, uh, three rotations of that, ten times each. Next, we've got the heel raise. Now, this is the bit that, of course, if I'm inclining hills or mountains, it's quite important in future to make sure that I can press down on my toes for incline. So my right foot is the one that's damaged and swollen with a screw going through that now so it's obviously a really weird feeling to try and press up like this but the more that i do it the better so that'll be included apologies i have to turn it over for that one and the last one is to obviously just do an active straight leg as it says there so basically um, lie completely flat and see how far she's not really put it that far up but mine's have to try and go as far up to the ceiling and then hold it now when I tried it in the physio yesterday it kind of vibrated and shook um, just because of how challenging it is however the more I do it the better it should get so that's the four exercises that I'm going to be working on to long term just strengthen it up and along with that, I'm going to chuck in some of my usual home routines. So we'll see how we get on with these. Now, we all should know what a squat is. Um, yet again, that puts all the pressure onto my knees down the way. So it's all for the right purposes. Now, instead of just a normal squat, um, I'm actually going to chuck my medicine ball into it. So this is a three kilogram medicine ball which of course it's a kind of iffy should you chuck it in or should you not but I have the strength in my arms to try it and I like pushing myself just that wee bit further so we'll go for the squat and see how we are remember I've been told to do it half depth and I think that's just to avoid injury and stuff like that so we'll give this a shot Might have been 10, might have been a top, couple more. But, uh, repeat three times over. I could really feel that like pushing down towards my shin and right out of my foot. And even though it's a bit tingly pain, that's just me adapting to these new movements and then slight risks. 
but that's the only way I'm going to get stronger. But that was my half depth squats with the medicine ball included. So it's the heel raise. So the heel raise is purely for this kind of injury, so it would be easy enough to do in the gym. Um, it would work your calves. It would actually work your calves if you had to. Um, pretty much any general person it would work. But I'm doing it for a huge purpose. Um, and remember the things I'm into, I'm bouncing off my on my toes as a goalkeeper. And especially, obviously, if you're inclining up a, a hill, which hopefully one day soon I'll be able to do, then you're really bounding on your toes and pushing and excelling through your whole leg. Um, I don't have the full stride yet, but that's another thing to work towards. But the only way I can do this is hold the phone, so I'll uh, dip this down, see if we can give it a go. Trust me, it's sore than a normal person would normally be like, yeah, this is a toddle. So I'll try this, because getting up the stairs, initially it was just clunked in my foot. There wasn't any, any leverage or flexibility to it, so this should bring that back. Not the best angle, guys. So I'll bring it down a wee bit. Let's see if I can hold it. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's not actually any more than a slight niggle of pain. You don't want to push it too much, but especially me. But I'm um, pretty pleased with that, to be honest. That's a new movement for me that I've not done for a long time. And I seem to have quite strong, strong uh, calves there that can hold that pressure. And then my ankle, obviously, with a screw in it and uh, the poles leading down right into the, the top of the foot. I'd say that that's good progress. I might keep doing that one. So it's not too bad. Uh, see what we've got next. Hello, gonna try the bridge now. So, gonna pull my knees in, keep them firm but bent, and then push the buttocks and up to the up to the ceiling so it gets an arch on my back. But it means that all the pressures, obviously, all the work's been done um, apart from your shoulder blades making a wee bit of motion. All the work's been done on the bottom of your back and your legs, so your legs are technically pushing two thirds of your body up, hence why it's part of the physio routine. Well. So I'd repeat that three times, so hopefully you caught that, but that's my legs pushing the rest of my body up, which should give my ankle bone that's damaged a wee bit more, kind of, you know, independence, try and get that really working and strengthen it up. Right, here we go. That's what I was showing yesterday. The resistance on it's quite heavy compared to what I thought.
it's important to rotate legs even though the left one isn't actually damaged or injured it's good to get both legs in motion to obviously keep both of them working you can see why I call it an office and a gym <laughs> I might vary everything here. <sighs> Try lying down a wee bit. That's how I'm meant to do it anyway. doing this to loosen off my groin and work on my thigh strength just before I start doing my physio work this usually limbers it up a bit this one's quite similar to the one that I've done with the resistance band to be honest um, but without the resistance band because I have to put my foot unlike this picture the resistance band was about this height of my leg going up with the resistance band that's over there this one here comparison to the picture I have to put my leg all the way as far up to the sky as possible There's a wee bit of that vibration on my leg, but you can't see it properly, but you can feel it shake with a wee bit of weakness. Try and hold it. That should get stronger as I keep doing this. At the moment, there's no problem lifting it. It's more just when you're holding it, so try holding it, see how the other leg is as a hold. You hold that one fine, this one, nearly there, nearly there. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. So yeah. That's the four physio exercises that I was to do and I'll keep doing them but I thought I'd show you because that's level two after the injury and I was told that even though it happened about eight weeks ago I'm on the equivalent of what somebody would be 12 so I'm chuffed with that. Poles are straight when I got the x-ray so they're not bent, there's no damage there. So I can't really say for any more apart from hopefully I can hit my goal and I think uh, my first real target that would be ridiculously happy with is to uh, officially get up uh, a hill. Not a Monroe yet, but just if I can get up the Pentlands or something, a couple of hundred metres even at least, then wow, that would be so nice. But for now, that's the uh, the four physio exercises that are a wee bit more resistance, a wee bit more difficulty level. And I've chucked a couple of my own exercises or even weights into the mix just to get that strength because it increases the strength. Um, if you put more weight on it, then you know it's gonna it's gonna make it more challenging. But you know me, quite like a challenge. So uh, from one half of the climbing clowns, make sure you watch our shorts, our videos, our pictures, and you can see literally all of this on YouTube, Insta, or Facebook. I'm Liam and this is part of my recovery plan. Keep fo following us and uh, I'll see you next time.